long night. Here it is. It's Friday. We're back at the shop. We're going to work on the Ford F100 inner fenders. Yesterday we got them trimmed up, measured out, and drawn out what we think might look kind of cool. So this is going to be the passenger side. And we've got it marked out where we can put it in our bead roller and roll out our bead uh, steps. So we're going to step this down, this down, this down, this down, this down, this down, and this down. This will be cut out for the shock and the upper A-arm. And then this will be broke at 60 degrees. And this will be at 30, which should give us 90 degrees from the top of the wheel well here, down 60 here, 60 here, and then straight down so from here up and then here it will be 90 degrees and if everything works right we've got this made out to where our inner fenders will sit here and here it'll tie in to this bolt this bolt this bolt this bolt and we'll have to cut and make a little piece that comes back in here and catches like this bolt here because I don't know what that hole's for. I think it was for the original inner fender. So that's kind of what we got going on this morning. So we'll get set up on the bead roller. I do have uh, the Jamie Jordan's art roll set. They're composite wheels. It's not the steel wheel. It's their hard plastic or you know, some kind of composite of some sorts. These here. And we've got just a little bit of a step here. We're going to try to give it about that much step between the two. Um, I think that's going to be a pretty good step we'll go down about two to three turns on our on our wheel we'll probably throw a piece of scrap metal in there and do a practice run always a good idea to do a practice run um count count your revolutions and kind of do a practice run so you know that that's going to be what you like before you mess up a panel that you've already spent quite a bit of time on so let me get my stuff set up and we'll start bead rolling After, after a little bit of blood, a few cuts, and a whole lot of cussing, <laughs> we've got the passenger side to finish up, more or less. Uh, we gotta do some scuffing and some prepping, and probably throw a couple of my dimple dies on the holes where we're gonna mount it to the bracket that actually holds the wheel well in. But for now, this is kind of what we got. But our Cleco is just holding up. We got an L bracket here. We made a splash pan down here that comes in and out so we can get the fender in and out a little bit easier. Got it mounted up through here. We're gonna end up, and then our holes are here holding on. Our L bracket here we made to hold that back fender bolt. That's it. Clecos are in. And on the inside, we've got a whole bunch of Clecos holding our bracket to the firewall and then our bracket to our inner panel. So this panel here will actually uh, come out, be removable to where we can get this panel in and out without having to pull the outer fender off. So that's kind of the idea behind that. Hopefully my camera's picking that up good enough. So now that's kind of where we're at on the passenger side. Now on to the driver's side.
got that out of the bead roller and put our 60 and uh, 90, uh, 60 and 30 degree brakes in the in our panel. And this is what we've gotten so far here. So a bead roll with the Jamie Jordan's uh, art set, both of their their dies, and this in the brake. And that's kind of what we got for our 56 right now. I think it's turning out pretty good. This is cut out for an A-arm and our shock will come here. We'll make another panel that fits inside here that comes back down and comes out the toe pin like we did on the passenger side. So that's what we got so far. We did get the passenger one in, setting in there and clee code. So that's looking pretty good. This is the panel we'll have to make for that. We can remove this and basically make this fairly easy easily removable fairly easy and it's gonna be painted so we got to be careful but that way we can put the truck back together and basically set the fenders in after we've got everything ran um, kind of makes it a little bit easier so that was one of the thoughts I had on that so if you like this video give it a thumbs up a like a subscribe and remember to get out there and create something today even if it sucks peace